Hi, it's Football Sunday again, and I'm in the craft room. I was so excited with a thrift store haul. Okay, so first of all, I'll just tell you, this satin, it's cream colored, it's gorgeous. There must be seven or eight yards of this. It's incredible, and I got it for $1.50. It's a very shabby chic. Um, sort of Victorian pattern with the gazebos and the beautiful ornate um, garden scene. And um, it's in a beautiful beige with this absolutely gorgeous pinkish purpley, I don't know, rosy um, print on it. It's very nice. It's very heavy. It's I think it's a Waverly. And I got it for 35 cents for this big piece. This was 35 cents, another huge piece of it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I plan on making some um, lollipop flowers and maybe some gathered flowers and maybe even use this on a, on a um, box or something to cover up parts of it, decorate it. And this little package was three dollars so it was a dollar fifty and it is I'm telling you probably about I'd say a good eight yards of this um, yummy um, eyelet trim it's a two inch trim and it's in a really pretty vanilla color and it's just an endless amount I'll probably never use all of it it's absolutely perfect um, for any, um, you know, I'm just not going to run out, you know, sometimes if you're doing a project, you pick a certain lace because you know you have enough of it. This, I know I have enough. And this right here, okay, let me just tell you, it is yards and yards of tool. White, heavier weight tool. Um, and I'd say there's at least five yards here. <laughs> the price was... A dollar for that that was my ending up price um, you really make out with that 50% off sale and in this bag I just wanted to show you this is the really nice um, white cotton um, yarn it's lightweight it's perfect to make flowers crochet flowers and then this is a purple wool and another sort of a pastel yarn I got that for Two dollars and there's like a bunch of it okay next this was three dollars so again it was it came down to a dollar fifty and it is beautiful you know what I love it um, it's not a curtain but I suppose you could make a curtain or a tablecloth out of it but what I love about it is if I want to um, you know I can just cut out each separate flower and, um, or I can just use um, a panel of it, these um, doilies. This one is a beautiful lightweight linen doily, and it is just absolutely gorgeous. It's probably the size of a dinner plate, and I got it for 69 cents. And then this one, it has the really pretty eyelet all the way around. It's such a soft, soft linen, and that was 69 cents as well. This little guy is like a tea dye color, and it is actually a tatted doily, um, probably handmade and quite a bit older, I think. 69 cents, so I could fold that in half on a purse or something and be beautiful. And this one is another sort of an ivory color um, doily. And it's probably the size of a, a teacup saucer. I love that though. The, it doesn't have any holes in it, so it's pretty much intact and it's beautiful. And that was 69, 69 cents. All of these were 69 cents. And this one, I even forgot about it. It's more of a cotton. It's absolutely gorgeous. And, um, you know, you can't really make it out here 
how beautiful these are. But I'm telling you, 69 cents. This is a rectangle. Um, this was probably manufactured on a machine, but it'll still be a really nice um, panel for uh, some project to use that. Okay. And then I also got this, which I think is pretty much a little um, table runner or placemat, but it is in a really pretty linen with some really gorgeous edging. I plan on using that in a project. <laughs> it's almost too pretty to um, cut. <laughs> anyway, I'll think about that. So, and then next, I got this. I'm not really sure, honestly, what it is. I think what it is is some sort of um, window dressing. Um, I don't know, just kind of fall. Sort of like maybe a wind, a curtain. Sure. But um, I think it's a curtain, and it's got tons and tons and tons of lace on it. And it's beautiful. And I paid next to nothing for it, really. So I could probably use it as a curtain or, you know, tear it down and use something instead. Um, now, in this grab bag, I did pay a little bit more for it because I got it at another thrift store that doesn't really discount. But you know what? <laughs> I only paid like $5 for it. And there's this beautiful satin. There's about... Very silky, very beautiful. And I got tons of these beautiful little sprays. They're um, silk flower sprays with um, just these little tiny, um, I don't know, I guess they're buds. Anyway. Guys, these are just beautiful. Look at those. They're, these had to have come... And I'm going to say I've seen these at either Joann's or Michael's in the bridal section. And they're very expensive. I know that because I priced them the other day because I thought they were beautiful. They already have the pearl and they have these beautiful gathered flowers. And um, they come in a spray of three flowers with the little tiny, if you can see them, the little tiny sprays on, on the sides. And I got a grip load of those. Look, this whole pile of them. And look how neat this bag is. So there are some pipe cleaners in there, and I didn't really need those. But who knows? And then this pretty trim. Everything I got was shabby chic and Victorian colors. Just simple cream color. Somebody was making this stuff for a wedding, I do believe. And then, you know, there's a couple more of these separate sprays. And then this looked like they were using the sprays and wrapping them with pipe cleaners to maybe make some sort of... I would say this was going to go around a candle for the wedding table. Or it um, was maybe, I don't know, napkin rings. Anyhow, it's gorgeous and there's all this beautiful tool and those beautiful sprays and the, the beautiful tiny silk flowers. Someone spent a lot of time on these and there was a couple of those in there. And then again, you know, all of, all of um, these beautiful, beautiful flowers. I think that bag, which was chock full of those things, it's one of the large, not the largest, but one of the large um, plastic baggies, full, full, absolutely full. And I thought this would be pretty as, um, you know, on the top of a uh, mini or the top of a, an altered um, cigar box or something like that. Anyway, I think that's about it. Isn't that enough? I know, I just, oh, I know. I did have a few more things. I did get a few more things. This was the last of it, though, so I'll almost be done. This was a um, dollar, and it is shiny, clear, pearlescent, and some pearls inside. It's, you know, the tiny little beads, 
but I thought for a dollar that would be pretty. I could just, you know, use that to make some stick pins. Okay. Now, this other piece, I don't think I'm going to do anything with it. I don't have a table quite large enough, but this is an antique, and I did pay, gosh, I paid $5 for this. This is an antique table runner, you guys. It is absolutely to die for, and I was trying to hold onto the camera and show you how beautiful, and you know what? I can't really visibly see. Look how gorgeous that is. It's all circles. I mean, you know, somebody would say, hey, cut all those circles out, and you've just got all these doilies. This probably goes on a banquet size table, you know, a party of 12. This is a long table runner. I do not even have a table this long. This probably came from, a, from an estate sale, and it ended up at that thrift store. You never know um, what you're going to find. You have to just kind of look, and you know, you have certain things in mind that you want, but you never know what you're going to get when you go to these places. I think that's part of the fun. And then this was another, I won't show it to you, but $2 for 10 yards of that um, one inch cream colored eyelet trim and then this is a beautiful pink sometimes they have the peachy orangey peach and I don't really tend uh, you know use that in my um, work but I think it's nice but I usually tend towards a pink or dusty rose and this is actually um, 160 inches and it was for two dollars and it's really pretty. I guess it's, you know, a mauve color. And it's um, sort of what they use this for is hemming. It's like hem tape. But I think it'll look fine as um, trim on a mini or something. So anyway, that is what I got. I'm pretty, pretty excited for under, I don't know, doing the math. I went to three places and I didn't spend over, I'd say, I didn't spend over, I didn't even spend $30. I spent probably $23 for all of this stuff and it was well worth it. Um, and of course that one place I went, I spent $8 and got probably 75% of it for $8. And then the other, I did, I did spend money on this antique vintage table runner. Um, but for $5, I thought it was super worth it. So, you know, that's how it goes. You find it, get it. You have to know um, what you're willing to pay for stuff. And you have to know what things are sort of worth. And you have to know the value. And that is, there's definitely a value. Because you can go to some of these places and the pieces have been washed. And they're still trying to charge you $3. And, um... You know, 69 cents is an excellent value for an old doily, but for $3 for one that's kind of worn out and it's been washed, um, I'm talking about you can tell it's stretched out, washed, like it was washed in a washing machine or not really delicate cycle. Um, and those, I don't think they're really worth very much, certainly not $3. And so I, I kind of look for the quality too, but I also look for... Um, how well preserved the items are. And this one is absolutely gorgeous. So, oops, I almost forgot this little guy. You know, I didn't really love it. I didn't love, love, love it. But for a dollar, this is actually about three yards. Yeah, um, it's got a cute little print, a sort of shabby chic. And then it's just kind of, sewn over the um, two inch lace and gathered. So for three yards, uh, and especially maybe something for springtime, I think that'll work. Okay, thanks so much for watching. See you real soon.